I'm feeling aficionada Tanya Evans and I'm here in Marston Mills at the Cats on the Beach Cat Show. Now I am with Francine Hicks, right? Yes. Now it says you're from Maine? I Is that from Maine? You're yes. from Maine? Oh Originally from Portland, Maine. So you come you've come down to take a you know, take a stab at, at judging all these cats. Do you travel around a lot or just New England? We actually travel uh, most judges travel all around the world. Um, wow. at different locations every weekend. There's um, the International Cat Association, Tika, has a show in two or three places every weekend. Wow, that's like a lot of fun. You it get is to be around cats all the time. Absolutely fabulous. It's the best um, oh job goodness. anyone could have. That is so cool. Um, tell us, for people, my audience are cat lovers, but they may not really understand the difference uh, between what a Tika cat show is or a cat show or how it works. And I'd love to, if you could just explain a little bit about what this Tika is and um, explain why it's such a great organization. Um, Tika is, um, does stand for the International Cat Association. So we abbreviate T-I-C-A. Okay. Um, we are the largest genetic registry of cats. Wow. Um, we also register household pets. So those cats that are of unknown parentage or could be purebreds that aren't able to be shown in championship or don't want to be shown in championship. Okay. Um, so we treat our cats equally, purebred or not. Yes. Um, <laughs> we travel all over the world developing cat um, loving for everybody. Oh, so um, we have a lot of new countries that are coming on board um, appreciating cats and cat fanciers. Oh, that's um, wonderful news. So, that's yes, great it's to fabulous. Hear. <laughs> yes, that's great. Have everyone in the world love cats. Yes. That would be yeah. like the dream, wouldn't it be? It would be. <laughs> the world would be a much better place if we just all sat around with our beautiful cats. I know, <laughs> totally. Um, tell, me, tell me a little bit about sort of um, the household division. A lot of my clients and the people who watch the show um, all, you know, have these amazing cats yeah. and they all you know some people will say I should really enter him into a household division so what what are some characteristics that would make a good household champion if you will um, a household pet um, what we look for when we judge is completely different from the championship class okay. we're looking for healthiness overall and okay. although we're not vets you can tell a healthy cat yes. uh, we're looking for a happy cat Yes, um, playful cats. always helps. So what we initially do for check for healthiness or cleanliness is we check to see if their claws have been clipped. Okay. Um, they also can show their cat if their cat's claws have been declawed. Okay. Um, but we don't want the claws to be clipped. Um, we look in their ears to make sure their little ears have been cleaned and look at their nose and eyes and all those things. Um, other than that, we look back the coat and see what the texture feels like. And then it's all about personality. Um, we play with the toys with them and I see how they see. react. Today they had a lot of fun not only with your toys, but with this wonderful flower decoration. I think that was probably the biggest hit. I think it has been the biggest show. Uh, the biggest hit of the whole show has been yes. the decorations. I know. It was like very interactive at different levels for most of the cats. Yes, very much so. <laughs> So that's exciting, and um, so how long does it, this is an event that's for the weekend, so that's a lot of, what would you call these, rings or different levels or um, that you're judging? Rings. Okay. It's different rings, and I, I, I usually do use an analogy to a dog show, because okay. most people are familiar with seeing them on TV and how they work. Okay. Um, with the dog shows, you bring your dog to one judge in that ring, okay. you are judged, and then basically you're done. Okay. Here you get 12 different opinions throughout the weekend. This oh, wow. weekend we have 14 rings, okay. um, so they get 14 different judging sessions. Okay. Um, the points are accumulated throughout the weekend and throughout the year. year. Oh, okay. So you can win best in show, second best in show, and then best in your region, and then best internationally. I see. And so after you go through a couple of these cat shows, or let's say you have a cat, and you go, um, how often would people go to these cat shows? Is it yearly? And do they go to other cat shows in order to work up to a bigger show? Or how does that work? Um, you, it, it varies on what you want to do. You can go to just your local show. You can go to just your regional shows. It depends on how much you want to travel. We have someone here at this show all the way from Hungary. Oh my so, goodness. Yes. So with they, a cat? With a cat. Okay. Um, oh, I'll have to cats, find this I person believe, from Hungary so. with their cat. Yes.
What are some of the like the top best, most amazing things that cat lovers um, need to have? <laughs> well, it depends on your likes and dislikes. I have uh, one of my best-selling uh, products right now is a brand called Christine Alexander, okay. and they have real Swarovski crystals on them. They're a little on the pricey side, but the company guarantees as long as you launder them the way that they specify okay. that they'll, if they fall off, they'll replace the shirt for nothing. Okay, great. Uh, I also have lower-end T-shirts, um, three-quarter length sleeve T-shirts, mm -hmm. and dresses, coats. And I saw that you also have some fantastic pocketbooks. Yes, Laurel Birch handbags. Okay. I sell her socks and her... Handbags, scarves, um, all different kinds of little purses that oh, is great. from that brand. 